And so we have the Indian subcontinent, the Indian plate coming plowing into the Eurasian plate. And so whenever we have collision of plates, we're going to have landform change. And so that landform change is essentially what we call folding or the creation of mountains. A very complex animation will showcase this here in a minute. And so what we have is very young mountains because they're very recently formed. They're still forming, in fact. In fact, they're going up oh, about five millimeters uh, higher each year. Not much at all. Uh, but very important also to consider is this area very much earthquake prone because of it being along convergent plate boundaries. And what do you know, when we look at the satellite map of this particular area of the world, we can see on one side of the mountains, on one side of the yellow line, it's nice and green and lush. And on the other side, or the north side of the Himalayan mountains, we can see it's quite dry. And so here we're going to see orographic precipitation at work. So not only do the physical features, the, the plate tectonics influence, of course, the landform features that we see here, but it's also going to influence climate, no doubt. Uh, we're definitely going to see that play itself out. So when we look at this, we can actually see this well-defined boundaries, particularly on the northern part. Now, the Himalayan mountains do such a good job in terms of a boundary between South Asia and East Asia, and more broadly, or I guess more specifically, uh, India and China. And so what we also have going on here is to try to understand what are the Himalayans, what's the rock made up of? And it's actually a lot of it is is essentially ocean sediment, ocean rock, uh, that over time essentially has been forced to be uplifted as these two plates have collided. Keep in mind, if you go back to that previous video, the Indian subcontinent had, a, you know, before it came plowing into uh, the Eurasian landmass, it was moving through a lot of ocean area. And so as those plates collide with each other, all that ocean rock eventually gets uplifted and gets exposed and is now above the surface. And eventually that becomes much of the rock here uh, that we see along the Himalayan mountains. Take a look at some plate tectonics more in depth. And so here, of course, along that same line where we see the Himalayan mountains, uh, we see plate convergence and of course it's formed them. But what's interesting is actually on the sides, uh, we kind of have where these yellow and red dotted lines are transform faults. And so what's happening is the Indian subcontinent's coming plowing into the Eurasian landmass. And what it's doing is on the side, it's then creating situations where the plates are kind of sliding right by each other. And so we can see that on uh, this image here. And so we can see that over on the eastern side of the in Indian subcontinent or South Asia, but also on the western side of the, of the South Asian region.